Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Backhorn and you're watching some desktop dungeons. This is a free indie game. Um, a to totally free. You guys can play if you want to. I'll leave the link in the description to the site. If you haven't heard of it, um, it's kind of a uh, low-tech uh, dungeon sort of game. What, what, what you do is you pick a class and you can see he's a human, elf, dwarf, halfling, gnome. And what it's going to do for us is it's going to randomly generate, generate a dungeon which we have to go through, fight a boss at the end, there's gold, and uh, pretty much that's the entire game. It's a lot of strategy, so I thought I would do uh, some videos, hopefully one of every one of these classes, because there is uh, 12 classes, but the only way to get them is to unlock them. So you need to beat the dungeon with the, uh, you know, the character above it. And they, I'm guessing the perks go down better like as you unlock characters. So, um, yeah, we have human, elf, dwarf, halfling, gnome, and two more characters, and we can get six different characters over here by doing all this different cool stuff. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of unlocks. So, yeah, um, I thought I would go with the halfling, because it, it, it converts skill glyphs, which I'll explain a little later, into health potions. Um, and then I thought I would go towards the, let's see, instincts can see locations of monsters equal or lower level, plus one experience per kill, survive the first killing blow. Um, huh. So yeah, how this game works is, every every time you beat a dungeon, you just, you win. You beat the dungeon, and you can unlock different stuff. You know what we're gonna go with fighter. But the thing is, uh, when you, when you beat a dungeon, it'll, everything gets reset beside your goal, like your level, everything like that. So, here we go. We have a totally unique dungeon. We just got spawned. You can see up here we have gold right there. We have piety right there, which we need to, we need to worship to altars for, which I'll once again explain in a little bit. Our health potions... And we got mana potions, here's our base attack, how much damage we do, our level and our experience right here, and our uh, maximum health, maximum, um, our mana. Here right here, three little things are skill glyphs, pretty much just like a spell. You, you can carry around three spells, they'll use your mana, and uh, this is our description, we have monster sight, extra XP, current effects, protection from killing blow. Okay, so, piety, if we find a church... Um, we can worship to them, and then if we do what they want, they can give us piety. But the things about the church is that they're uh, very vague when it comes to telling you what they like or not. So sometimes you'll do something they like, sometimes you'll do something they don't. But uh, you can use the piety to get some bonuses and stuff. So right here, uh, you can see like how I'm going to move. You have to click around. Once, once you click in a spot, like I'll do right now, it, just, it uncovers everything around you. This gain it gives you um, health back and it gives you mana back. But if you were to let's say attack a monster and then run away and try to get some health back, it wouldn't really work that well because the monsters too they also get uh, health every time you uncover something. Um, so obviously we're level one, we can't kill a level five, or else it says right here, uh, right over here, it'll say what's going to happen when we kill him or attack him. It says next hit estimate death. Um, so you really have to be skillful on how you're going to fight some of these monsters. So right over here, let's uncover a little more, is the Tarog Church. And we can pray to it. It says, a blazing torch burns fiercely, the god of battle. Uh, let's see, eschewing the use of magic, the god rewards any and all fours or demonstrate their faith with blood and steel. So I'm guessing he doesn't like it when you use spells, but he likes it when you kill stuff with your sword. We're going to leave that one. We're not going to worship to him. But what we will do is we're going to go and pick up this maximum mana um, you know, kind of poultice over here, which is going to let us, um, we're going to get max, more maximum mana. So here we go. So now we have 11. And here we are. Our first, um, victim is a goblin. And you can see it says victory if we attack him. He only has two attacks, so he's going to do two damage to us because he is faster than us. So, well, let's attack him. There we go, and now we got two experience, and there's a nice little blood splatter. So if you're wondering what um, these houses are, you can actually buy items with your gold that you can find. Now the gold does carry over from dungeon to dungeon, but it's the only thing that carries over. So you have to think about it, if it's worth buying the health potion for 12 gold, or saving it to the next dungeon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you have to worry about. And over in this house, we have a pendant of mana we can buy, and you saw that all those... Health and mana go over because I, I, you know, I was discovering stuff. So uh, the warrior, or um, yeah, you know, the human warrior, whatever I'm playing as, uh, it actually allows us to see monsters our level with these little squares. That means that there's gonna be a level one over there. So there we go, another goblin. So we can kill him. Now we are almost level two. So I think we're gonna try to make our way over this way, but we're blocked. So we can go over here. 
and the warlocks are pretty strong. Um, hopefully, you don't run into too many of them. All right, so yeah, you can see that the the oh, okay. So don't look at me like that. I'm totally not a violation of anyone's intellectual intellectual property. Regards, Super Meat Man. Now that that notation meant it's, that's a level ten. That's the uh, absolute boss, and you can see he has 666 health. Because he's a super meat man. Those guys are tanks. They do, like, not that much damage, but they just, well, they have so much health. See, so it's like, seriously, WTF. Okay, so, we're going to leave him for there, right? We have to kill the boss to beat the dungeon. We're going to leave him for now. So, if we walk over this po uh, this uh, potion thing or, you know, spell, we can pick it up. And this adds a 30% bonus to your next physical attack, but we have to use it with mana costs. Now, if we don't want one of these, we can throw it away in here. And since we're a human, it'll convert it to more health potions. So we're going to keep that because uh, adding 30% more uh, physical damage is good for us. So let's go over here and make sure, try to make our way around. And here we go. We have uh, another another uh, spell. We have like kind of a fireball spell. And we're being blocked by another meat man. So I guess we're going to have to make our way up this way. Cause, oh, and we're blocked by another meat man. So I guess we're <laughs> going to have to go this. Oh, gold. All right. I have to go this way, get the gold. Now, you can cut corners in this game, so... I need another mana potion. So, I'm pretty... Yeah, you can cut corners like that. And there we go, another goblin. And now we're level 2. So, our everything went up. Our health, mana, attack, all of that went up. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to try to... Now, now we can see all level 2s and level 1s where they're going to be. Which is a fr freaking awesome skill that the warriors get. Definitely worth doing if you're going to try to be a warrior. All right, and now we have a warlock. Kill him. I do want to... Oh, it's level 7. Zombie, we'll leave that guy. I do want to pray to a church, hopefully, this episode. Um, I'm going to try to do, like, one of these... Uh, one of these episodes, maybe, per character. Try to do an entire dungeon with a character. Uh, I might not win this one, so... Yeah, don't be really uh, encouraged or something. I might not win it, but I do want to give a little introduction to this little series. So here we go, Jehora Jehuyu. All right. Uh, the altar god of destruction and chaos is constantly surrounded by various magical explosions. You don't know where they're coming from. Some of his warriors earn great strength and chaotic power, but often forced to participate in risky or dangerous activities. Huh. Join this religion and remove poison immunity, mana burn immunity, death strike, death prediction, dodge, first strike. No, we have first strike. We're going to keep that. We're going to not pray to that church yet. We might. We probably won't actually go to him ever. Um. All right, so let's go around here. These look like we can kill them. Yep, okay, so right there it says next hit estimate safe, which means we don't kill him, but we, we uh, he won't kill us. You can see how much damage he's going to do to us on our health bar, so two strikes and he's down, and then we can kill the zombie, pick up this mana, uncover that little block, go over here, oh, here we go, now we got, uh, what is it called, get, get, get in there, allows you to first strike. This is actually a really, really good spell, we're going to keep this one probably, because, uh, when we have to fight back and forth with a monster, um, keep uh, having the first strike is always nice. So here we go. We're level three now, so we can see level threes with our skill. So, and I know there's a level three warlock over here that we're gonna end up killing. But let's kill this one first, and then you see how he would do damage to us, a lot of damage to us actually. But we would end up killing him. I'm gonna use this spell. And now he, I'll have the first attack, which makes it so I don't get hurt. So that's a very good spell to have. And then also, we can use uh, this burning flare thing. And now when you use the, uh, when you use the burning attack, you know, the, the spell, the fireball, they don't get a retaliation hit on you. So now we can just end up killing them without taking too many hits. And we get another attack boost. All right, so yeah, we're just pretty much going to carve our way towards the... Uh, towards the demon demonic faces that's pretty much what you're supposed to do as a warrior uh there's not really too much to it uh, meat man meat man meat men are really easy there's they're just kind of tanks they have a lot of health uh what i wonder if we can kill this goblin actually yeah it looks like we can yep even though he was level four now we're level four sometimes you can overpower another another monster if uh you're if you know if you're good enough no <laughs> um but if you if you have enough attack you can usually overpower i'm like he's level four we're level 4, we kill him. Let's use this so we don't take any damage, though. There we go, so we got the first strike. And I wonder if we can kill this level 5. Yeah, I think we can. I think if we attack him, see how it says death, next to hit estimate death, we can use this, and then attack him again. And yep, victory, there we go, alright. So, pretty much what we're trying to do is trying to get to level 5, or 10. 5, we're trying to get to level 10, so we can kill that meat man and uh, get out of the dungeon. And now we're level 5. Alright, that's one hit. 
What can we buy here? Pendant of Health for 25 gold. We only have 15. We'll leave that for now. All right, victory right there. We're just trying to earn up some more, uh, some more um, XP. And I'm, I'm, I'm liking how we're not using any potions yet. We're really gonna need to save the potions for like harder battles. All right, he's level six. Now I'm pretty sure I can attack him. And once again, I, I could attack him again, get him, get the kill. But then I would only have like two HP left, so I'm gonna use this. And now that's why I really like that spell a lot. Oh. <clears throat> so this is a another spell. Teleport an enemy to a random point in the dungeon. We don't really want it. So what we're going to do is... Well, uh, do we want it? I don't really think we're going to use it. Teleport an enemy to a random point in the dungeon. I guess if they were uh, blocking us, we could go over and run over and pick this back up. We're going to leave it there for now. Just kill off some of these goblins now. Our level 6. Okay, get that guy killed. Kill him. Very nice. And you can see this... This demon over here, the demon face. Alright, we're safe there, and I don't want to lose too much health, so let's use one of this potion again, or this spell. Um, okay, so what's this? Oh, the glowing guardian. Now, this is the uh, the church that I really like. What happens is, um, pretty much whenever you kill a zombie or a, uh, I forget, I forget what it is. It's a zombie or a mage, I want to say. Uh, or, you know, a warlock. He'll give you piety to use, but I'm pretty sure if you, um kill monsters lower than your level, you lose piety. So what we're going to do is, we're going to kill this zombie right there, then we're going to go over, pray to him, worship. See now, if we have 50 piety, you can see in the top, um, we can restore our full health, or we can pr grant protection from the next killing strike, or we can uh, grant one plus one maximum health per on-screen blood stain, but that's cost 100 piety. We only have 51 um, they actually give you piety back for what they would have liked if you would have had worship to them before, like in the start of the game. So, not worshiping to, or not worshiping to a uh, church won't really affect you because they'll give it back to you anyway. So, let's move over here. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get minus piety for killing level 2. Yep, I get minus 1. You can see it right there. Now, we're down to 51. But I'm pretty sure that balanced itself out because I killed a warlock and so did that because I killed a zombie. Um, Alright, so let's see what's over here. This... This demon looks good. Okay, we'll kill this meat man. Now we're level seven. We're getting we're getting pretty high into the into the ranks already. Um, I'm trying to see who we should kill. We probably should waste this warlock. The victory. I know we're getting minus piety a little bit, but it's okay. And then I see that there's there's only two more guys that are my level besides this meat man and that warlock and that zombie. So what I'm thinking is kill the meat man first, then use. Um, kill, wait, no, yeah, I was about to say you get killed by him, no. Uh, use a fireball on him. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to use a health potion. Uh, yeah, if we were to go and explore to recover our health, he would get his health back, so we're gonna use a health potion, and then we're gonna use a, this, a, uh, get, get to dare potion, spell, and kill him. <clears throat> and there we go, we got plus one piety from that, because he was a warlock, and I'm pretty sure we can take care of this guy pretty easily, we'll, oh, wait. He's going to take two more hits. So now we would die right here, but I'm pretty sure if we use this... Yep, <clears throat> we get the killing blow. Nice, very nice. And then we can get our health back from discovering a little more places. Um, I'm, just, I'm really just trying to look for who I should kill next. I'm thinking that level 8 meat man won't pose that much of, much of, that, that much of a problem. Yeah, okay, death. We can use this. And now we're level 8. Alright, very good, very good. It's working out pretty well. I like the, I really like the strategy of this game. It's a lot of fun. And just because it's free, it's like a 5 megabyte download, guys. I mean, seriously, this is probably the... Uh, we'll use this. This is probably the smallest uh, download I've ever seen for a uh, really fun game, actually. I really like it. Okay, so we can buy some kind of pendant, right? We can buy a health potion if we want to. Or I think we're just going to save the 21 gold until another dungeon because... Uh, we're almost out, actually, so let's kill him. And I think if we use this... Oh, no, because the goblins have first strike, like, all the time, so... Will this kill him? Yeah, well, Okay, there we go. The goblins have first strike even if you use your spell, so... Make sure you don't accidentally try to kill them when uh, they'll they'll end up killing you anyway. Oh, level one. That, that even level... Nope, won't even level us up. Uh... I think you can take out... I'm pretty sure you can take out Meat Man that are one level above you with uh, this spell right here. So we're going to use that. There we go. Okay, now we're level 9. Making good progress. I see there's no more level 9s, which means this dungeon is pretty much done. Um, this spell right here is actually really, really nice. 
the Lemisi. We're gonna we're gonna uh, scrap this one for a health potion. We're gonna pick up this one. What it does is it lets you exp it lets it let here. I'll, I'll actually use it. You see how it explored three different blocks for us? That actually adds to our health and our mana. So if we're ever in tr in danger, I'll show you. Like we attack him, and we can use this, and it's gonna recover our health and the mana we get. We're gonna get back the mana that we use to use it. So there we go. It's just it's just it's pretty cheap, <laughs> if you ask me. But the thing is, the monsters do get their health back because we are exploring. But um, I don't really, I don't really give that might I don't really give a damn if you think about it. it it's really nice just because look we can just exp we can get our all our health back. Okay, so we're at the boss. And the boss is level 10. Huh, I'm trying to I'm trying I've never actually fought a super meat man before. What I'm thinking is that we're going to need uh a lot of health potions. So I think we're going to buy this health potion right here in the shop. There we go. And the, the shop disappears after and then, why are we not level 10, is what I'm really wondering. That's very odd. I'm pretty sure we killed everything. But we can go over to the church. <clears throat> we can pray to him for protection or healing. So I think we're going to use that during the course of this fight. So let's get a strike on him. And another strike. And another strike. So now he would die right now, but let's use our health potion. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we'll still be safe. Use another health potion. We're getting minus piety because this guy, I don't think he likes us using... Uh, any any uh, any potions? I'm pretty sure. Okay, kill him again. We're safe still. Get another health potion. Um, safe again. One more. Okay, safe, safe. So last health potion. Safe. Okay, now we're gonna we would die, but what we can do is go over here. Oh, well, actually, you know what? We don't have to. Yeah, okay, we should. We should. We can pray to him for healing, and he's gonna fully heal us. So let's go over there and take him out. Yes! For slaying the boss of this class, you have unlocked the following extra features. I let the music go. New items. Shop will randomly stock new items, new slightly more powerful items. New class. We have ex uh, access to the Berserker class, a powerful boot warrior with inversion to magic. And we now have dungeons will randomly spawn wraiths, lost souls with physical resistance and the ability to drain your mana. As a surviving hero, re retire to exit the dungeon. So now we can retire... Here's our uh, stats. We go, we slew the dungeon in 16 minutes. Pretty nice. Uh, I know it might be a little bit less more than what the video said. Right, anyway, um, we have 2,750 damage skilled or scored. Boss killed 3,500. We tried the map at divination skill. We employed the Lemus technique at least five times. Uh, didn't consume any mana potions. Defeated all monsters level eight or higher. And earn at least 50 piety. So we got 19,586 score. That, that's pretty nice. That's a pretty nice score. Now we have the Berserker class unlocked. Which I'm pretty sure we're going to do in another episode. But next will be the Thief. And I'm going to do the Priest and the Wizard. Then we're going to go down like that. And down again. Hopefully. So it'll be like a 12 class. Maybe maybe more. You know like 12 classes. So maybe 12 episode uh uh, series, we might, we might do some of the special stuff, but, yeah, hopefully you guys like this, once again, it's a free game, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of strategy, uh, leave your, leave what you think of the game in the comments, the, the link will be in the description, but, till next time, guys, see you later.